I'm going to launch my browser and open up the JavaScript console. And then I'm just going to load up Google. I'm going to inspect the div containing the logo and copy the ID for later. I'm going to create my top level closure and I'll put all my code inside here to keep everything contained. Quick console log, see it all work. Util is going to capture the value of another closure that I'm going to set up. Inside the second closure, I'm going to set up the Q class. I'm just going to leave it empty for now. And below that is the return value that's going to supply the public methods to Util. Just one method for interacting with the Q. I'll also leave it empty for now. I'm going to jump back up to the Q class and set up some local variables. Methods is going to be an array. Flushed is going to be a Boolean value. Add is going to be one of three functions. Flush is the next. And the last one is step. I'm going to set up Q's prototype to point to those three methods. I'm going to start implementing add. It's first going to check the flushed boolean value. If the queue has already been flushed, then the function is going to apply right away instead of being added to the queue. The boolean value basically makes sure that the queue can only be flushed once. If the queue hasn't been flushed, then I'm going to add the function to the array of methods. Now I'm going to implement the flush method. I'm first going to check the boolean value to see if the queue has been flushed. If it has, then I'm just going to return. Otherwise, I'll set the boolean value to true. Underneath that, I'm going to iterate through the array of methods. I'm going to shift through the array until there are no more functions left. As I shift, I'll call the function and apply the arguments object. The last method is step. Unlike flush, it's not going to go through all the methods at once, it's just going to do one at a time. And since methods may or may not be empty, I'm going to check first that I actually have a function. And if I do have a function, then I will call it and apply the arguments. Down below, I'll check to see if the methods array contains any functions by checking the first index. And if I don't have any, then I'll set flush to true. Now I'm going to implement the public method. If the argument passed in is not null, that means one of two things. I either want to add to the queue or I want to flush the queue. By checking the type of the argument, if it's a function, then I know that I want to add to the queue. Before I go any further, I need to first set up an instance of the queue. And now that I have an instance, I'll set up the add here. If it's not a function, I'm going to assume that it's just a true value which will flush the queue. If, however, the argument is null, then I'm just wanting to step through the queue. So down here, I'm going to start trying this out. I'm going to queue up a series of functions. They're just going to be simple console logs for now. I'll do three of them. I get an error because I'm trying to use chaining, but I haven't set up the method yet for chaining. I need to return this. And then lastly, I'm going to put Q in pass true. And my QF functions get flushed. If I don't pass an argument, you can see how I can step through these. And there's no harm trying to step through more than you've queued up.
I'm going to modify these to do something a bit more than just console logs. I'm going to use that ID that I copied earlier to start manipulating the DOM. So instead of a console log, I'll just insert HTML. And I'll do that three times also. And this time when I flush, the DOM gets updated. And like before, I can step through these instead of flushing them all at once. And again, doing more than FQDAP doesn't hurt anything.